So in the UiPath platform, context grounding is not limited to your automations where you can use it from the content generation activities, for example. You can also use it in autopilot for everyone. And in this video, I'll show you how to do it. So if you didn't watch my video on how to get autopilot for everyone set up, there's going to be a link to it in the description below and also towards the end of the video. And if you have any questions, make sure you put them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them and suggestions for other videos and stuff like that. So um, we're going to talk about what autopilot for everyone is just very briefly and then see what context grounding can do for autopilot. Autopilot for everyone is UiPath's take on a, well, an AI enabled conversational agent. Some would call it a chat robot. And it's a very powerful one at that because what it can do, well, it greatly depends on what you add to the back end of it, but it can do stuff like Google stuff and look stuff up on Wikipedia. And, and of course, the large language model um, sort of that it's connected to also knows, if you can say that, a lot of stuff. But you can also add context to it. So when you're asking a question that it goes to the large language model to answer. It can also sort of go to a local index of information, a local database, if you will. For example, if you have information that is private to your companies, it could be company policies about, for example, paid vacation days or stuff like that. You know, the large language model and Google or Wikipedia does not know that for your company. So in this video, we're just going to add a little bit of context information to the data store that Autopilot has access to so that it can better answer those types of questions. Um, first of all, let's try in Autopilot and ask about my paid vacation days. So I'll just go down to the prompt down here and say, uh, as an employee in Yebe's automation company, how many paid vacation days do I get every year? And it's going to try to answer this question by looking up the information wherever it can. And it apologizes because it cannot find that answer because it doesn't know anything about the internal company policies in my company. So, um, yeah, um, it can answer my question. So what we're going to do now is we're going to jump into Orchestrator. And then we're going to try to add some information to a database that the autopilot uh, will then use when answering these questions. Okay, so here we are inside my orchestrator. And the first thing we want to do is we want to create what's called a storage bucket in order to have somewhere to put these documents. So I'll go to my autopilot folder here, click storage buckets, and then I'm going to add a new storage bucket. And we will just call it HR documents and click add. And then we can go into that storage bucket and then we can upload a couple of files. So I'll click upload new file, browse for the file. And here on my desktop, we have a couple of PDFs. One is the employee handbook for Yepes Automation Company. And one is the handbook, employee handbook for Evil Corp. We'll just take one and upload first, and then we'll upload the other one as well. So now we have a storage bucket with two documents in it. Then we want to go to our admin sections inside of Orchestrator. And in the admin section, we have the AI trust layer section. And here we want to go to the context grounding tab. I made a separate video on context grounding alone. So I'll go through it quickly. You can look up the other one. There's going to be a link to it in the description below um, where I go into a little bit more detail. But what I need to do is I select my autopilot folder here and then I add a new context grounding index and we'll just call it HR. And we'll say that this is an index that con contains uh, documents about vacations, vacation days, company policies, etc. We probably want to give a little bit of a better description than this. The data source for that context uh, grounding index is going to be a storage bucket. The storage bucket is located in my autopilot folder and the storage bucket is called HR documents. 
the one we created just before. And the file type, we could just select PDF, C CSV, JSON, or whatever. We'll just select all and click Sync Now. And that means that the uh, database will try to consume the documents that are in that storage bucket. We can see it says Sync in Progress. If I refresh, I'm pretty sure it'll already have done that. There we go. Last updated, December 19th at, what time is it? 5.30 in the afternoon. So now we have created the context grounding index. Now we want to go to autopilot for everyone over here. Select our tenant where we have autopilot for everyone enabled. And then we can go down here to context grounding. Here we don't have any indexes enabled yet because we haven't. Uh, so we'll want to click the enable index button over here. Select the autopilot folder. Select the HR index name. And then again here, we can give a description of what kind of stuff is in this index. Contains documents relating to company policies, procedures, vacation time, salary, negotiation, negotiations, etc. Just HR stuff, right? And then I'll click enable down here. So now we have enabled a context grounding index for autopilot to use. So let's go back to autopilot. Okay, so we're back in autopilot now. And to be fair, I just restarted autopilot because it does need to sort of refresh its knowledge about what it has access to in the back end. So now it should know about this context grounding index that we just created. So now if I ask down here, as an employee of Yebis Automation Company, how many weeks of vacation do I get? And now it's going to try and look that information up again, but now it's going to ask, hopefully, the HR context grounding index. And we can already see that it's searching my employee handbook for Yevers Automation Company. And then hopefully in just a second, it says that as an employee of Yevers Automation Company, you are entitled to six weeks of paid vacation a year. And that's actually what it says in that PDF document. We can then ask it, what if I worked for Evil Corp? We'll see what it says. Well, here we go. Here's the answer. If you work for Evil Corp, I'm afraid the vacation, we said, policy would be quite different from your automation company. According to Evil Corp employees handbook, you don't have any paid vacation, period. So what can you learn from this? Two things. Don't work for Evil Corp, work for your automation company. And second, automation uh, or autopilot gets a lot stronger if you provide some context. And, and this kind of context could be all kinds of stuff. It could be company policies. It could be, you know, product information so that when your uh, colleagues are using autopilot to, to query different things, autopilot can use the context grounding index to improve its responses. So I hope you liked this video. Up here is the link to that uh, video where I get autopilot for everyone set up. Up here is something else. And down here at the bottom in this round thing, you can click that to subscribe to my channel. I hope you will. I hope you like this one. If you did, Give it a thumbs up. It really does mean a lot. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.